guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, long time no see. Um, I have a good reason though. It's because basically, like, I normally just record on my phone, um, but for some reason the sound didn't work for ages. But um, I, it was like a software problem. But then miraculously, like, the video started working again, so I can record again. Um, I wanted to do a manga haul for ages. Um, basically, like the middle of December, like we all went to um, Japan because my grand turns 90 on Christmas uh, Christmas Eve, so the 24th. And I, as usual, like bought loads and loads of manga, and I thought I'll do a quick haul to share it with you guys. I always go a bit mental um, when I buy manga. Um, if you saw my kind of mini vlog I did, um, I buy quite a lot of my manga from Book Off now because um, there's a lot of old stuff which is so much cheaper um, in the discount bookshops, um, and there's like a huge range, so I can always pick like new stuff up which, um, like you know, I haven't heard of before. Or, stuff which isn't necessarily advertised abroad. Um, one thing I was annoyed about though, this is the department store which I always go to get my manga, like they've changed the whole manga section. So I don't know where everything is anymore and like it's really confusing so that put me off that. But anyway, um, I bought this much manga, which is loads. So I'll just quickly talk through what I got. Um, firstly, like you know my favorite manga artist is Higashi Murakiko. She released a new one called uh, Tokyo Tarareba um, I mi I don't actually know what Tarareba means, I should probably look it up, but I always get her stuff, like whether I know what it means or not, so um, basically like it's about a story of these like 30 year old women who like haven't got married, blah blah blah, and they always go to the bar and like drink and moan, and then run this random guy comes over and like shouts at them and tells them that they're all losers, and that's kind of like the start of the story. Um, it's good, not her best though, like uh, I still think her earlier stuff was the best, like all her Kisegai Gachan stuff, like I read some of it the other day, it's so funny and like I feel like she's almost, because she's doing so many different things now, not just with this but also you know um, Kurage Himeso and Princess Jellyfish and like she has so many series on at once, I think she can't um, almost focus the story on one thing, um, also her autobiography as well, Kaka Kaka Um so I was a bit like disappointed, but it's not like the worst manga I've ever read or anything. So yeah, I've got this one. So this is, uh, in English it's uh, Assassination Classroom, and in Japanese it's Aisatsu Kyoshitsu. Um, I've seen these around for so long, and um, the covers have always drawn my attention because they, they don't really seem like normal manga covers, if you know what I mean. Um, so I finally crumbled and I was like, I'll try it out. It was also, they rate, it's rated really highly. And um, yeah, like basically it's about like a school where um, the aim of the school is they have to try and kill the teacher because the teacher's like an alien, right? And this is the teacher. Um, so yeah, it's like a very typical like shonen manga i actually thought this was like an adult manga because of the cover but it's not it's like a shonen manga it's, i haven't read the second one yet i've read the first one it kind of reminds me a bit of um like a mix between like naruto and like Det uh, detective Conan. no it doesn't really make sense but like i don't know it's all set in the classroom but there's loads of like fight scenes and like kind of mystical stuff and it's a bit like confusing um i do like it though. i think i recommend it but um it's quite like you got to like, I feel like you've got to concentrate quite hard to read it, especially in Japanese. Okay, so this one, Shinshidome Kurosu, like I don't know what it's called in English, I'll look it up, but this is so old, like this has been around for years. Um, look, it was 108 yen, which is about 60p or something. So I was like, I'll get it because like, also I quite like this manga style, it's quite old school, but um, I kind of miss it because I don't read as much shoujo manga anymore. But I thought, oh, it'd be a good thing, like, you know, just to read this anyway in Japanese, improve my Japanese. Um, my god, like, the Japanese in this is so hard. This is, like, 15-year-old's manga, and, like, I literally don't understand it. And I read some of it to my mum, and my mum was like, I don't understand it. Like, she was literally like, I don't understand what they're talking about. They've got loads of random stuff in it, like, um, for example, like, this scene here. Um, one of the characters is saying how, um... There's a saying apparently in Japanese. Okay, I'll just read it in Japanese. It's um, so it's saying like beautiful um, cherry blossoms. They're only that colour because of like a body that's like been buried under the cherry blossoms. So the blood from the body is making it go pink, right? And then then the girl is like, 
Oh, so uh, like Fujisan, Gaijutsu are gomi darake te kodo ne. So does that mean that like Fujisan is actually like covered in um, rubbish? And then the other girl's like, um, yeah, it's the same thing. And then she says, demo sore te Fujisan no se de wa nai desho. So she's then saying like, well, it's not Mount Fuji's fault. But I read this and I was like, I literally don't understand the analogy at all. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> What's Fujisan rubbish? What? Um, anyway, like. <sighs> I think it's going to take me like a hundred years to read this. I'm going to need like a dictionary, so we'll see how that goes. But you know, if you're like an intermediate Japanese level reader, I recommend this. Then I went to uh, in book off. Like basically, I got really excited because um, I got five of this series. So um, it's called um, Yamamoto Zenjiro to Moshimas, right? Um, so Yamamoto Zenjiro is a name. Uh, this is by Maki Yoko, who did Aisha as a baby. I absolutely loved that series when I was younger, like, I was obsessed with this manga artist. And when I saw these in Book Off for, you know, like 50p each, I was like, screw it, I'll get the whole series, because, you know, it's only £2.50 if I get the whole thing. Um, and I also I remember this was advertised. So this came out in 2007, okay? This came out in 2007. I remember it was advertised, but I never got a chance to read it. So I was like, I'll read the whole thing now. It's basically about this. Um, girl who can see ghosts right and this is her her dad which is weird okay um and it turns out i'm not gonna tell you what, what happens to ruin the story but like um it is really weird it's about ghosts and like a bit like that's in this book of friends but but kind of worse to be honest like i'm not gonna lie the, the plot is dodgy at times like it starts off really good and then suddenly you're like what just happened and, and she really likes drawing children which is fine like i don't mind having kids as the main character in the manga but it can get a bit like boring after a while if all they do is you know like fight about kitty stuff which i don't really care about um but i have to say though like i really really like her manga style like i've always liked it It's not like the best manga series I've ever read. And then uh, finally, last two. Um, my dad actually chose these for me. So these, this is called um, 87 Clockers. Um, and it's by uh, Tomoko Ninomiya, which is the same person who did um, Noda Me Kan Tabide. Um, as you can see, I clearly have a thing for just like going back to the same old manga artist that I like. Um, I don't like her manga style, but the, I really like her mangas in general. Like, Modame Kantabide is, is one of my favourite manga series of all time. But the live action's better, I've said that before. Um, this is actually quite clever, like, I don't even know this existed, but it's like about, um, apparently, like, um, there's, a, um, there's a thing, like a competition, where like people compete to try and get the speed of their computer working. So they'll add loads of like extra things to the hard drive and like, um, try and get like the, the searching speed to be as fast as possible and it's a competition um, but there's only like a maximum capacity a computer can have so the better you are at like programming and also um, you know like adding things to your hard drive and stuff like the faster the speed can be um, and there's a whole thing about you have to like cool cool the uh, computer down because otherwise it overheats and like explodes right really random like yeah so it's called overclocking like I've never heard of it but if you read the bonus pages like which she has throughout um she kind of explains like she just researched the whole thing and like um like in Nodame Kanta like she wasn't a musician musician she just researched music scores so she obviously decided she wanted to change tact and like went into like the IT route um it's good I actually recommend this it's really good I bet you it's going to be like an anime or live action pretty soon this is like screaming for live action it's like exactly the kind of thing not too difficult to film and all that um so yeah like I recommend this it's really good um, I almost forgot, I also got this, Black, black, but, black Butler, or Kuroi um, Shitsu, Shitsuji. Um, Shitsuji means sheep in Japanese as well, so that's a bit random. Um, this was expensive for a manga, okay? This was like £3.50, which to me is quite a lot, considering you could buy all this for 50p. Um, but um, it was, I saw it was rated highly and it's really popular and it's uh, anime now so I was like oh, I'll try it out um, it is actually really good and I really like the manga style again like it's kind of um, 
I'm really, I really like kind of the steampunky, gothy style, and this is exactly that. So um, I really would recommend this. I haven't seen the anime, but I'm sure it's good as well. The final thing really is um, we left Japan on the 26th um, of December, so literally like straight after Christmas, um, and the Princess Jellyfish movie came out on the 27th, so I just missed it. I was so annoyed because I was so looking forward to seeing it. Um, if anyone's seen it, um, tell me what you think, because I've seen just like the picture stills, but I haven't seen like what the actual whole movie is like, so um, I'm so, so annoyed. But anyway, yeah, um, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!